All right. This is easily going to be the most difficult unboxing I've ever done. Buckle up. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, BMAC. And if this is your first time here on this channel, welcome, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you smash that subscribe button with all notifications turned on so that you never miss another video on this channel and <sighs> that took a lot of breath. And if you've been here before or if you're already subscribed, welcome back. Today we are unboxing the brand new 24 inch M1 iMac. I'm excited, this is a complete redesign of the iMac. If you guys know me at all, you know I love my iMac. It's potentially my favorite Apple device, maybe next to my iPhone. So naturally, yes, this baby I got right here, super excited to unbox it, but I'm literally sweating, so <laughs> let me not squat anymore, even though I'm probably gonna have to do it for the rest of this video. The unboxing of the new iMac. Quick look at the box, you can see, that is what the front of the iMac looks like right there. Literally, exactly what it looks like. I'm pretty sure that might be life-size too to scale. On the back, that's what the iMac looks like on the back. Clearly picked the silver color, closest thing I could get to matte black. And then we have the side profile of what it looks like on that side. <sighs> side profile of what it looks like on that side. And then just some information on the back you don't really care about with iMac. Oh, let's do it from this angle. With iMac and a matching color handle, nice touch, right there on the top. So I think to get things started here, there's a little pull tab. If I could do this without dropping it, my goodness. That we're gonna pull across the top, ready? <clears throat> oh, gotta make it dramatic. Woo! All right, about an eighth of the way there. We undo that tab and then I believe it kind of pops open, so we're gonna flip this over again. You know, I, this is only the 24 inch model. I don't know what I'm gonna do when that new 27 inch drops. We're gonna be in trouble for that. Here we go. really see much, but it's there. And I could barely see it's a hello underneath there. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But check this out. This is awesome. The unboxing experience, look at these two little arrows on the side. We got one right there, one right here. Oh! One of the coolest unboxings I've been able to do in a while. Cause it's just like, it's like meant for the unboxing experience. Look at that. Oh! It just pops open. That's awesome. So I'm gonna carefully take, oh my gosh. It's light as a feather. It legit, oh my. This is insane. Okay, but I'm getting ahead of myself here. Hold on. The fact that that is an iMac, mind is blown. But you can see here, yes, we do have a keyboard, cable stuff, all the accessories underneath this little flap. Oh, that flaps open and then we just go like this. <gasps> Your accessories. This is upside down, but designed by Apple in California. Per usual, first thing we'll do is take a look at this little info packet right here. If we open this up, says iMac, of course, glad we got the right item. If you don't know how to use your new iMac, you do have a little quick start guide that I just dropped. It's because of this flap here, oh my gosh. Okay, little quick start guide for you if you wanna check that out. Your safety and handling information in that next packet. And then last but certainly not least, oh yes, your, if I could get it out, there we go. Your, I still can't get it, what is, okay, well. There it is. Your matching color Apple sticker. Now this isn't anything crazy. It's silver because I got the silver color, but apparently if you got like the yellow iMac or any of the other colors, this matches. So cool little touch. Apple's bringing back the colors. But also in here, you do have your power cable. So we're gonna use this to actually power on the iMac. I just did that in a really non pretty way, but okay, there's no going back now. We undo this, what is going on here? Oh, gotta like, oh, little tricky situation here. Okay, okay. We undo this, that is your braided power cable. This is unique. This is not a power cable like I'm used to. This of course goes to your external power supply. I know some people aren't crazy about it being an external power supply like this. Personally, I don't mind. This is gonna be out of view anyway. But this is your power supply right there. Apple logo on both sides. You'll see that you have an ethernet port as well as the other part of the power cable port right there. And that's what this little cable is for. So if we undo this, you will see 
I'm just gonna rip it apart, I guess. You will see this is the part that plugs into the power supply. It's like almost like little mini Mickey Mouse ears. But this obviously just plugs in right like that and you are good to go. Our power supply which I will put off to the side. And then obviously, our new Touch ID Magic Keyboard. Oh, I'm excited for this one, let me tell you. I love Touch ID, I miss it in the iPhone, I love it on every other device that uses Touch ID, which now that I think about it is really only my MacBook Pro, but regardless, I love it on the MacBook Pro. Little cellophane removal. Feels brand new, feels clicky. Oh, I love it in that Touch ID button. Ooh, love it. We'll take that, put it off to the side, air out my sweaty shirt just a little bit. Underneath your Magic Keyboard, you will find your USB-C to Lightning cable. This is actually gonna be used to charge up your Magic Keyboard as well as your Magic Mouse, which we'll get to in just a second. A three foot braided USB-C to Lightning cable. I'll keep that nearby. And then last, but certainly not least, we do have our, oh, I dropped it, our magic mouse right here. Ooh, look at it. There it is. Still with the lightning port for charging it up on the bottom. Don't know why that hasn't been changed yet. I'm not a fan. But it's not really a huge issue to me because I am going to be using a Magic Trackpad instead. Magic Trackpad is a must if you're doing any kind of video editing work. Love this thing. But yes, your magic mouse right there. And luckily, that's it, right? Nothing else in here. This is just all supporting cardboard. That's the accessories. We're good to go. I can start to pack this up and give myself a little bit more space, catch a little bit more breath. We will close up the box until later. I cannot get over how light this iMac actually is. It is actually, it feels like just like a giant tablet, a giant iPad. But this is the iMac 24 inch. We have some protective, material that we're just going to, hi, yeah, I'm still here, but we're gonna just uh, like undo that, if I can figure out how to do that. This is tough, man, doing this, figuring this out at the same time as trying to do it for you guys. Okay, I think we just go like this. Pull up, and then down, did that work? It, look, it sounded like it worked, yes, I think it did. Okay, okay, we'll spin this around. It's like a magic trick unveiling, and underneath this cloth is the iMac 24 inch. Oh, check that out. Hello. Hello. Hello, iMac 24 inch. How are you? I'm sweating. I'm hot. I've gone through a lot of workout stress for this unboxing, but hello. Nice to meet you. Full disclosure, I'm not. I love what's going on on the inside of this thing. Design wise, I love it. Color wise, white bezels, not so sure about that, but time will tell. And I like the Apple logo on the back, but I kind of wish it was on the front. We'll probably, we'll, we'll do something to fix that. But anyway, little tab over here. No, it's over here. Okay, little tab. We just, uh, wait, which one do we do first? There's another little tab. Okay, I guess we'll do this one first. Up, over, <gasps> down, and around. It's like a border protector. Oh, and it's off, it's gone. Done. Gonzo. Next, we have this little tab. We will pull this. I love it already. This is going to be so fun. Oh my gosh. Uncellophaning the back of this thing. Okay, here we go. Ready? Take this little arrow and just... We're stuck halfway. There's a little flap back here that you can't see. I gotta just quickly pull that down. Okay. All right. Oh, little cell uncellophaning. Done. Right there. Pull this. <gasps> there it is! The back of the brand new iMac 24 inch. Couple things you'll notice. Couple Thunderbolt ports, couple USB-C ports. That power supply port on the back right there with your classic little cutout there for the cables to run through. And then on the right side, this is where your power button is right there. And then also, a headphone jack. You guys probably can't even see that. This, look how thin, oh my gosh, look how thin that is. How is there a computer in here? This is absolutely insane, absolutely insane. But now for probably the best part, we have a little starter arrow right here. Oh my gosh, you only get to do this once. We will take this little arrow. Oh, my heart's fluttering. I feel like I'm in heaven. There it is, the iMac 24 inch, my goodness, that's it. 
This is the iMac. Should we start it up? I feel like we should start it up. Let's start it up. Power supply goes into the back. And that's pretty cool. It's a little bit difficult. You do have to line it up, but once you line it up, it's like MagSafe. Just magnets right on in there. Are you ready? <sighs> Press the power button in the back here. That is the choir of the angels right there. That Apple Mac startup sound. Dum. Oh, freaking awesome. So we're starting up right now. Things are looking good. I'm telling you, I'm not really a fan of these white bezels, but again, we'll see. I also feel like there should be an Apple logo right here, but maybe it's just gonna take some getting used to. We gotta get out the uh, magic mouse. What is it telling me to do? Turn it on. Okay. Magic mouse is turned on. Hello. It's saying hello to me. Can you guys see that? You probably can't see that. Let me adjust the exposure so you could see it. Wow, now it's doing it in a bunch of different languages. It's saying hello in like every language possible. Oh my gosh. Let's see if it'll go back to just English for a second here. Hola. Okay, that, that works. That's close. Here we go. Oh, I thought I was gonna say hello. That just said, hey. Hi. Okay, we might be here a while. There's a lot of languages. Just take my word for it. Now what you don't care about is the setup process because Press the return key. What did I do? I'm sure you guys don't really care a whole lot about the setup process, so I'm just gonna snap my fingers and that's gonna be done for you. <clears throat> it's set up. And we are good to go. The 24 inch M1 iMac is completely set up. I cannot wait to put this thing to the test. If you guys are interested in seeing my review of this iMac, of course, do not forget to subscribe. I'll be posting all sorts of content about this baby to this channel. You don't wanna miss out. And of course, if you guys are interested in learning more about the new 24 inch M1 iMac, or just to snag one of these puppies for yourself, you guys could always head to my affiliate link, bmac.link slash M1 iMac. bmac.link slash M1 iMac, or of course, there will be a clickable link in the video description box below as well, so be sure to check that out. And with that having been said, look at this thing. I still cannot get over that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I could probably floss with this thing. I will see you guys in my next video. So light, so small. My gosh, I gotta be careful. If a breeze comes along, this thing might blow away. <laughs> Not really, but you get the point.